Welcome to one of our videos at Southern Savannah in collaboration with Craft King, Loka, Yinge, Mimaj and all the other Chinese machine suppliers. In this video we're going to be talking about a very common error which could turn out to be very expensive but sometimes could turn out to be just a bluff. Error number 16. If you check on my screen here you find out it clearly states error code 16. The immediate response that people get when this happens, they say the head is dead or blown, but it sometimes is not the case. I'm going to show you how to diagnose it, how to troubleshoot it, and what to do. Right. Firstly, if I get error 16, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my machine. Now, because error 16 can either come from the printer head itself, the cables that go in and plug in to the headboard or the chip which I plug in my cables to and lastly the headboard or carriage board itself. That's four major components that could cause error 16. But all of this is related to the printer head. So to diagnose this we do what is called error by elimination. We start off by taking off the three other connections and check if our board is fine. Now our carriage board being the most expensive component, we would be happy if our carriage board is fine. So how do we do it? Follow me. The board that you see on top of your machine here is not called the motherboard. It's called the headboard or the carriage board. It is the board that you see at the back or sometimes on the side of the machine which is called the motherboard. Now this board controls all the movements that happen on your machine, your motors, your heaters, all of that functionality, you name it. But the board at the top controls the head which prints and the carriage which moves. All your colors, your graphics, everything is here in terms of the output of the printer. Now I have error 16, what's the first thing I'm going to do? I've turned my machine off, I'm going to come here and check this chip that is connected here. As you can see, it is written XP600V4. You're going to find out that some of them are written XP600V3, just depending on the model. V4 is the newer model. As of to date, this is February 2024. Now, with me having taken out this chip, the board is alone. The machine can still be able to turn on and do proper functionalities if the board is still fine. So I'm going to turn it off and just make sure that my belts are properly secured and this is not touching any part of the electricals here. And after this, I'm going to turn my machine on. This is simply to check and eliminate the board being part of the problem of error 16. So if I do not get an error 16 after this, then I know that my board is perfectly fine and I now have to deal with three components, which is the chip that I plug the head into, the data cables, which are the white ribbons that connect the head to the cable. And lastly, I of course have to check the printer head itself. Right, now as you can see, we are very fortunate in this case. The printer is ready, there is no error. That tells me that my board is fine in 80% of the cases. Well, I'll say 90. Right, so what's the next thing I'm going to check? It's the cables and the printer head. Again, I'm simply going to move my head anywhere that's not here, then I turn my machine off. With that being done, I'm going to diagnose the connection on my chip. Now on this chip, you find out that the top cable, if you could zoom in, you're actually going to see where the source of our problem is. This connector here goes in and it may not be aligned with the pins on the track. So let me take it out and reconnect it to show you where the problem is. So both of them have been taken out as you can see, this is my connector. Now, these lines here, as you can see there's a one empty line here, also one empty line here. I need to make sure that I align my belts with the lines that have silver pins and not the last line. And taking my belts, I have to make sure that the belt on the right side of the head goes to where it says right. The belt on the left side of the head as I face the machine goes on the port written left. Now, allow me. 
the right cable is simply going to be aligned with the chip once it's aligned with the chip I push it in and this is actually not perfect you can see the pins are not aligned with the tracks I have to take it out make sure I align it again and there we go perfect every pin aligned to every track here and then I'm going to take the belt for the left side and do the very same thing okay that is perfect now all my belts are perfectly connected my pins are matching with the pins on on the track now if I plug this back in and uh, error 16 is gone then I know that everything is fine but if I plug it back in and error 16 comes back the first thing I try to change could be the chip itself before I conclude that my printer head has a problem this chip itself remember we also have it in stock you get it with a v3 model or as a v4 model either of the two will work uh, v4 being the newer model of course but we also supply this so just contact us if you feel like you're experiencing something like this and you've done the diagnostic steps we've talked about here but you are not coming right the next thing you want to check for if error 16 still comes after everything is aligned here would be this chip here so you might want to change it and give it a try now i'm going to plug it back in and see if error 16 is going to go away hopefully it does okay and also remember another cause for error 16 could be me misaligning these pins that are here and the holes that are here because it could also sit even if it's not aligned like this so i need to also make sure that it is properly seated here okay there we go So firstly, as you can see, the error 16 is not there, but we actually test it by doing any operation which involves the head spraying ink, which is a nozzle test or a flush or a clean nozzle. So I'm basically going to do a nozzle test here to check. And if it can perform a nozzle test without giving us error 16, then we're fine. And as you can see, the one right here, it just did a nozzle test and it's perfect. Right. So I've spoken of part of the process of diagnosing error 16. First thing I talked about was we separate the board to see if the board is a problem and we've seen that the board was fine. Next thing is we check if the connections are fine between the head cables and that chip. Now if let's say I was still getting error 16 here, the one thing I might want to first do before concluding that my head is a problem, as I said prior, is that chip that I talked about, the V3 or V4 head chip. If I do change that and the error still keeps coming, then well, we do have heads in stock and that's the next thing to change. But please take note of these three, four steps that we've talked about. Instead of just concluding that the head may be a problem, it could be so many other things. Thank you so much from here at Southern Savannah in conjunction with Nerex. Catch you next video. Cheers.